Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, one true God forever. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, this Sunday's Holy Scripture portion is taken from St. Matthew chapter 16, verses 5 to 12. This is the second Sunday after the Feast of the Holy Cross, which took place on September 14th. This Sunday's Bible portion, we read, When the disciples reached the other side, they had forgotten to bring any bread. Jesus said to them, Watch out and beware of the yeast of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. And the reading ends with verse 12. Then they understood that he had not told them to beware of the yeast of bread, but of the teaching of the Pharisees and Sadducees. St. Matthew chapter 16 is considered to be the fourth part of the entire gospel. It is believed that St. Matthew's gospel is divided into five sections with five narrative and five teaching portions that go together. Just like Moses gave five teachings and five books, so also the new Moses, the one who is greater than Moses, Jesus Christ, gives these five teachings. And in this section, Jesus is, uh, section four, is an acknowledgement by the disciples of who Jesus is, and he leads the disciples to a deeper commitment and a deeper resolution to become disciples of Jesus. So in the previous sections he had taught them about the mysteries of the kingdom and now he is teaching them to be aware of false teaching. Watch out and beware of the yeast of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Those who are familiar with the story will remember that the disciples misunderstood the yeast to be speaking about literal bread. They said to one another, it is because we have brought no bread. And then Jesus reminds them about faith and the miracles that he had committed. And in the end, he's, they realize, the narrator, the gospel writer tells us that they understood that he told them to beware not of the yeast of bread, but of the teaching of the Pharisees. So we see there is a, a book end to this section. In the beginning and the end, the yeast is introduced and clarified as the teaching of the Pharisees. We see the misunderstanding of the disciples and it is clarified in the end when, it, when St. Matthew tells us they understood. This is a, a question about perception and remembrance. Jesus says, Rem do you still not perceive? Do you not remember? How could you fail to perceive and beware? So there is uh, an idea of the knowledge and understanding that disciples ought to have. So what is the East? It is the false teaching of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Today, uh, we Christians have similar concerns as well. We have to beware of false teachings today as well. Just like Jesus reminded the early Christians to beware of the false teaching of the Pharisees and the Sadducees, we have to guard our faith from the corrupting effect of false teaching as well. We must maintain the one uncorrupted faith. In the fifth diptych, sometimes we recall our Orthodox faith, the uncorrupted faith. In order for it to remain uncorrupted, we must prevent any leaven from entering into it. To be a disciple of Jesus 
means to hold fast to the true teaching that Jesus taught. In the Gospel of Matthew itself earlier, Jesus said, Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but underneath are ravenous wolves. And then St. Paul in his speech to the Ephesian elders says in Acts 20:29, 20, For I know this, after my departure, savage wolves will come in among you, not sparing the flock. So wrong teaching corrupts the true uncorrupted faith. And it has an effect of corrupting the whole batch, the whole bunch. As we are entering and as we are in this final season of the liturgical year, Jesus reminds us to beware of false teaching and to protect ourselves from the corrupting influence of false teaching. St. Paul reminds Timothy, 2 Timothy 1.13, Hold fast the pattern of sound words which you have heard from me in faith and love which are in Christ Jesus. Let us hold fast to the uncorrupted faith. Let us beware and protect ourselves from the corrupting influence of the false teaching, which is the leaven of the false teachers. May God bless us all.